In this mini clip, we will be evaluating functions. While we answer this question together, you will be solving the similar problem on your own using the same technique. So we are asked to find k given that f of x is equal to kx cubed plus 9, which is equation 1, and f of 3 equal to 63. This second piece of information here tells us that the value of the function is 63 when our x is equal to 3. So we're first going to substitute this x equals 3 into our first equation since we know we're evaluating our function when x equals 3. So I'm going to write here that we're going to substitute or sub x equals 3 into equation 1. So all this means is that when we look at our equation number 1, wherever there's an x, we're going to write a 3 in its place. So we will have f of 3 is equal to k, instead of the x, we're going to write 3 cubed plus 9. Now try writing this step with your problem below. This is how your answer should look. Okay, so going back to our question here, now we're just going to evaluate this 3 cubed. So we have f of 3 is equal to k times 3 cubed is equal to 27. So we have k times 27 plus 9. Now k times 27 can be rewritten as 27 times k since the order of multiplication doesn't matter. So I'm just going to rewrite this equation. So I have f of 3. Now I'm going to write 27 times k plus 9. Okay, I want you to try these two steps now with your problem. Here's what your answer should look like. Okay, so now looking at this equation here, remember that we're trying to solve for k. So we have this equation, but our problem is that we have two unknowns, k and f of 3. However, if we look back to what's given to us in the original question, we know that f of 3 is equal to 63. So when x is equal to 3, we have that our value of our function is equal to 63. So since we're evaluating this function when x equals 3, we can now substitute f of 3 with its solution, 63. So if I call this equation 2, we're going to substitute f of 3 equals 63 into equation 2. So instead of writing f of 3, now going to replace it with 63. So if 63 is equal to 27k plus 9. Now try this with your problem. This is the answer you should have got. So now we're simply going to rearrange this equation and solve for k. So first we're going to bring this 9 to the other side of the equation. So we will have 63 minus 9 is equal to 27k. 63 minus 9 is 54. So we have 54 is equal to 27k. And lastly, we want to divide both sides by 27 to isolate for k. So 54 divided by 27 is 2 is equal to k, which is our final answer. Now try these next few steps with your problem. When evaluating your question, your final answer should be that k is equal to 3. 